There is a lot of speculation regarding the possibility of reversing emphysema and the other COPD diseases. You see, COPD is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and is an umbrella term which includes emphysema, chronic bronchitis, bronchiectasis, and more recently, asthma. After researching, I found information that I knew was incorrect, yet it is being taught as if it were the truth. For example, it is taught that once emphysema causes scar tissue to form in the lungs, it is there forever. I would not even know this was incorrect if it were not for a former member of my COPD focus group. He went to the VA and was given a CT scan. The radiologist showed him that both of his lungs were full of scar tissue. He was told this scar tissue would be there forever. Shortly after that, he joined my COPD focus group and began sticking to the restrictive diet and taking the supplements every day. Seven months later, he was given another CT scan which showed his lungs were both completely clear and free from all scar tissue. Remember, this is the scar tissue that his radiologist told him seven months earlier would be there forever. He was shocked and surprised, as was the radiologist, I'm sure. I continually see people attacking me personally online, but not offering a viable alternative to my protocols. I guess they want you to take your expensive drugs and die quietly. Following are just a few of the many testimonial-like emails I have received since starting this project. From Carol K. Hi, Mr. Greg Miller. Anyway, I have some great news to share with you. I have been following your program for two years now. I have been taking the supplements and try to stay as close to the diet part with one small treat a day, sometimes. Notes from the pulmonologist in May 2018 show that my asthma is considered mild, intermittent, well controlled. Notes for September also like the above. My asthma was considered quite bad with infections quite often. I was on antibiotics every other month. For this year, I have not had to go on antibiotics for nine months so far. Knock wood, I just had a checkup with the allergist. She also treats the immune system and lung problems and my test where I blow into the machine has improved. Last October, it started showing some improvement and this year, there was even more improvement from last year's results. I am able to take part in an exercise class that I had to drop out before because I felt dizzy at the end of class. Lately, I started taking the class again and now I can do the exercises without feeling dizzy at the end of class. I know God is helping me also because I also remember feeling quite frustrated and not well having so much trouble breathing, no energy, feeling sick most of the time. Then, two years ago, I happened to find your book online. I know God is the one who helped me see your book as it just appeared online. I told my daughter and son the good news above, and my daughter said, be sure to let Mr. Greg Miller know the good news. Your program works, is proven successful, and I want to thank you so very much. May God bless you and your program in all ways. Carol K. From Matthew G. I want to thank you for putting this program out there. It has helped me in some aspects. It has helped me address and change some bad dietary and lifestyle habits. By doing so, I lost 20 pounds and my total blood work is the best it has ever been like perfect. will continue on my journey towards wellness. I am glad I found you and wish you continued success. From Andy K. I'm very thankful to have found the COPD and you early on. The diagnosis was a terrifying time. I felt like I was looking and heading into a deep dark hole with no way out. 
You gave me hope and healing, and I will do all I can do to spread the word locally. From Frank Wolf, I was originally diagnosed with emphysema at 28 years of age in 1975. I have been taking bronchodilators since that time. I receive most of my health care from the Veterans Administration Healthcare Network. In August of 2016, I was diagnosed as near end stage for COPD after a lung CT scan. I was using 4 liters per minute of supplemental oxygen 24-7. I realized I would have to make an intervention myself if I wanted to live much longer. In mid to late September, I found your book, How I Reversed My Mom's Emphysema. I immediately went on the diet you recommended and purchased the supplement package. I knew this was going to take some time because of the length of time I had struggled with this disease. To my surprise, within seven months, I had lost 35 pounds and was able to breathe again. My oxygen usage went from 4 liters per minute continuous to 2 liters per minute, a 50% reduction. Of course, when I started exercising again and doing things around the house to help take better care of myself, the O2 usage would go up to 3 liters per minute, but back down to 2 liters per minute at rest with a quicker recovery time. When I checked my percent O2 with an oximeter, I discovered that I could reach 96% and higher with lung exercises. I have continued to use the system you discovered during your research and slowly over time I continue to make progress towards the day when I may be able to get off the supplemental oxygen. I'm very grateful to you for your help and expertise on the history of this disease and alternative treatments which I have not found elsewhere. My COPD case manager at the VA knows I'm doing alternative treatments in addition to the VA meds. And while she is not exactly thrilled about that, she has been unable to argue with the results. From Dave G. After only a few weeks on the protocols, Dave here with my health update. I've been on the diet for six weeks. Sure do miss my wine, pasta, and sugar, but have been very strict. I have been taking the pills for two weeks. Yesterday was the first sign of any improvement. Climbing a set of stairs seemed to leave me a little less breathless. This morning I had the same results, very encouraging, otherwise I'm having a pretty tough time with it. It has really changed my life. I remain committed to the whole process and am very optimistic things will get better. I am never giving up and agree with the death sentence the doctors gave me. Your book have changed my life. I am very grateful. Greg About a year ago, I was diagnosed with COPD and told that I would never get better but would slowly decline until I was on oxygen 24 hours a day. I had been hospitalized twice in the prior 45 days and could barely make it from my bed to the bathroom. I am only 54 years old. I was sinking into a deep depression and having panic attacks reading all the doom and gloom medical information on the internet put out by medical professionals. Thank God I came across your blog and ordered your book. Your book was the start of a journey of recovery for me. I immediately made the dietary changes you recommended, eliminating sugar and carbohydrates that were quickly turned into sugar. I immediately started on the NAC and several other recommended supplements. The biggest thing and hardest thing was I put down the cigarettes and never picked them up again. It wasn't a fast journey nor an uneventful one as my immune system was very weakened from all the antibiotics and steroids that I had taken while hospitalized. It seemed like every time I would make huge strides forward something would set me back. Your book was more important than you could ever know. It gave me hope and a game plan to follow. 
I knew that there was something I was missing, so I started working with a wonderful naturopathic doctor here, and we found out that I'm allergic to both dairy and wheat gluten. She says that that isn't uncommon, as a lot of time those two are connected. Every time I went to see my MD, he would give me a new drug. First it was Spireva, then Dalaresp. By this point, I started having non-stop panic attacks for which my GP gave me Zoloft, which only heightened the panic attacks. I went to the internet and looked up the side effects of Dalaresp, and sure enough, anxiety attacks were one of the side effects. I had specifically asked my pulmonologist what if any side effects that drug could have, and he told me that people often lost weight when taking it, so it fit into my diet plan. I quit taking both the Zoloft and the Dalaresp, and voila, no more panic attacks. I asked my pulmonologist to refer me to a pulmonary rehab program so I could start getting stronger. He said I didn't need one. So I looked up a pulmonary rehab program out of Australia, purchased a used treadmill and recumbent bike with a basic weight set, and started the Aussie program. My life has returned to a beautiful normal. I can breathe. I work out in my home gym three times a week and at my local YMCA three days, which includes heavy cardio, weightlifting, and swimming. It all started with you, Greg. You threw me a lifeline and I held on for dear life. I don't have the words to tell you thank you enough. Diane R. You have described my mother in your story, and I would like the name of the book so we can begin changing the path she is heading down. Thanks, and I hope your mother is doing well. Dinah. Greg, because of your book's info, I do take Nordic Naturals Omega-3 oil daily. I don't take NAC because I don't have mucus or cough. Before your book, I wheezed all the time, even on all the medication. Now I don't wheeze. Thanks again, Wayne. Hi Greg, it's been more than six months since I sent you the last email. I just noticed where you put one of my emails as a testimonial on your site, but changed my name and city. Thanks. Because of my business, I don't like people to know about my COPD. Greg, if we met, you would have no idea that I have emphysema. I do everything, ideally without going upstairs. Yes, I still have it. It's not cured, but the symptoms have diminished to the point that I have my life back. When I went to my pulmonary doctor in September, he was shocked. In fact, he wanted to do a lung function test to see what was going on. Since that test would cost me $300, I told him no. I have gone back to using Cerevent and Flovent, which is Advair. I started getting a lot of wheezing, and that seemed to cure it. Any cures for that? I use Albuterol once in the morning. I used to use it five to six times a day. I have lost 20 pounds and walk one hour a day. I take a good vitamin, Dr. O'Hara's probiotics, a bunch of vitamin C, and I rotate between oregano oil, caprylic acid, and garlic. I watch my diet but do not stick to the limited diet that I started with. I do go on the strict diet when I feel that my breathing gets a little labored. I really wish there was a way I could get your information out to more people in my area, which is Nashville. I would really like to be able to help some of the people that feel there's no help for their disease. One more thing, if you remember in September 2008, my doctor said I needed to be on oxygen 24-7 or be on prednisone every day. I was hoping to live another two to three years. Now that I'm breathing again, I feel like I can live forever. Thanks again, Dave B. Greg, well I have been off the Cerevent and Flovent, the two meds in Advair, and Spireva for COPD for 48 hours now. I still carry my albuterol 
and have only used it once a day for three days now. I used to use albuterol five to six times a day. On July 15th, my pH was 5.4. Today, it is 6.6, .6, so that is coming along nicely. 30 days ago, my wife was looking at a lift for me to go up the stairs. When I went to a store like the grocery or Walmart, etc., I always used a cart. It was my invisible walker. For the last few days, I do not use a cart to walk all over the stores. This is unreal. I feel like I have gone back 10 years. I go to my pulmonary doctor in seven weeks for a routine visit. Boy, will he be surprised. I wonder how he will react. Thanks again for your book, John R. Now here's Michael's amazing five minute COPD recovery. Hello, my name is Mike. Uh, I was diagnosed with COPD, uh, which I uh, understood as to be uh, emphysema in December of 2012. Um, I do believe that my diagnosis was accurate, that I actually did have emphysema. I had smoked uh, cigarettes for decades, and there were a number of other factors which caused the infection in my lungs, which emphysema actually is. So I do believe that I had emphysema. Uh, I decided after uh, crying in bed for a few weeks and losing a lot of weight that I could uh, give up and die as I believe that uh, most uh, MDs would tell me that I had to because I contracted emphysema, that it was irreversible and progressive and that I would die uh, being on an oxygen tank and inhalers and all kinds of other stuff I didn't want to get involved in. And uh, I said either I can accept that or I can believe that there's an alternative solution to this, a possible cure somewhere out there. So I went to the internet and lo and behold I was guided uh, by my higher power, uh, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, um, to a cure and that cure was found on W. Greg Miller's website, uh, EmphysemaTreatments.com and uh, I started taking uh, a lot of the supplements, <coughs> supplements for basic health, uh, good basic health and also for uh, antifungal supplements such as uh, certain types of probiotics, enzymes and antifungal such as uh, uh, what would one be? Um, oregano, so oregano oil, or uh, there's a lot of other ones I can't think of right now. I'm a little nervous. But anyway, took those uh, consistently for several months uh, around the fifth month, which would be uh, sometime around April of uh, 2013. I've been running my whole life, a jogger runner, and sometime around April, I started jogging and was able to go a mile, two, three miles. Uh, by June, uh, July, I ran a six-mile run. Uh, so I mentioned the, the running because I want to demonstrate to you that my breathing went from something like that, uh, with lines on my face, uh, to a clear complexion and running freely and enjoying good long runs in the uh, upper park in my city. And so there was no doubt that um, uh, I had emphysema and that uh, Greg Miller's emphysema treatments like calm information uh, led me to the cure. It saved my life. I believe that I would have been dead by now. Uh, today is, uh, see, this is September 2015. Yeah, I either would have been on an oxygen tank in a hospital or deceased by now if I had not found or been led to what you, Greg Miller's website, emphysematreatments.com. Now, there's one kind of caveat here. Uh, I take immune compromising drugs. Um, so I do believe that Greg Miller's website says stop taking all pharmaceutical drugs. I do think, as a general rule, it is a very good idea. Uh, I won't go into the reasons why. <clears throat> In my specific case, I take an immune suppressing drug for uh, other uh, another disease that I have. And that has compromised my recovery from emphysema. I don't look healthy in my face uh, as much as I did back in 2013. So I'm struggling to find something to supplant the immune suppressing drug that I take. So if you're taking something that's immune suppressing, there are, there are alternative uh, remedies out there uh, that you can take. Uh, the path may be difficult, but you can find it if you persist. And there is hope you're not a dirty, rotten smoker. It's just an infection in your lungs, as uh, Greg Miller explains. 
And many factors contribute to that. Uh, drinking alcohol can contribute to it, immune suppressing drugs, poor diet, and of course, smoking cigarettes. So this is a beatable infection. That is what emphysema is, I do believe that. And uh, to beat it though, you need to be disciplined. You have to stop eating sugar, uh, especially uh, white processed sugar, uh, a lot of foods are sugars, but the white processed stuff, the high fructose syrup, dextrose, small, uh, all the different names they use uh, in marketing for uh, for, pro for processed white sugar, synthetic type sugar, you want to avoid that. But even whether you have emphysema or not, you want to not take that as a general rule. So uh, praise God for what um, W. Ray Miller has discovered and presented to the world, and uh, keep the faith. Uh, go to his website, learn about health in general. Uh, begin your journey of uh, recovery into uh, you know vital uh, vital uh, I think of the word <laughs> vital living. So thank you again, Dr. Miller, for giving the chance. It's the only uh, opportunity you have really to cure your emphysema. You can try great hydrogen peroxide if you supply it with probiotics, but that's another path for you. And I'm out of time. So thank you for listening. Goodbye. Every testimonial video. Hi, Greg. My name is Debbie Eastep. My mother, Betty Mullins, has received your book, How I Reverse My Mother's COPD. Um, she has been on the diet and supplements for about two months now. The first week she started the diet, she got her supplements in another week and started that. After about another week on the diet and the supplements together, she noticed that her feet and legs didn't swell at all. Um, and after about a month on the diet, she went from three liters down to two liters of oxygen every day. Sorry I cannot provide you with videos of all these people, but they are weary of the internet trolls who attack them every time they say anything positive about my protocols. Check out what I am also saying in my other videos on YouTube and see if they make more sense to you than what you have been told. If they do, then great and welcome to the program. If they do not, then keep looking for something that does make sense to you because if you rely solely on the drugs that are only masking the symptoms of COPD, you will not survive. You can ask your doctors to verify this fact. None of the drugs will stop or reverse this disease. Please make sure and like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notifications bell so you are notified when I upload the next video. Make sure and visit my website for additional information www.emphysema-treatments.com This presentation contains images that were used under a Creative Commons license. Click here to see the full list of images and attributions.